Okay, I'll just run through what I've got in this drawing now. So it's updated slightly. Um, and I've got several extra styles. I've got a hidden line, um, which is basically this one, which has just turned into sort of this style value. Okay, so we'll look at the hidden line. Basically, that's what it's doing. It's also showing the section cut. That's quite important. I wanted this hidden, the hidden line one to show the section cut. I've also created a hidden line without a section cut. So all I've basically done in that is this one, you'll notice that none of these are turned on. So that's the showing the section cut, and this is showing the section plane. This one, this is turned on. Okay, there. So that's what the difference is between that. Um, and it's just the the value of the sort of the visible um, display set to hidden line as opposed to shaded with textures. So each of these uh, various styles now save within some scenes. So let's whiz through the scenes. So scene one is the sign elevation. Scene two is the uh, section. Uh, scene three, we've got a front elevation orthographically set. Uh, scene four is sort of a coloured view. So the difference between scene three and scene four is this is back in perspective uh, as far as the camera goes. So it's back to perspective. As far as the colours go, it's this style has been set, which is the one that shows sort of texture. And the scene five, we just zoom in on the handle. So I've managed to apply some colour to these things. Um, to get the stripes I used on the materials, where are the materials? window and materials. I use this one, black lines four as the uh, tonal pattern. Now applying the black line four to the round bit, this one, this was okay, it just kind of went in and orientated itself quite nicely for me. Um, for this one I had to draw a little square um, sitting directly behind it and apply the tone to that and then right click on that um, texture and make it projected and then that would project that texture onto the object that I wanted okay in this case this one so I've got something that looks you know, a little bit like the image of the uh, coach hook so I just go back to scene five just reset that and scene six is a plan view or plan section of this now if I went to the top view as well um, I could just create scene seven and change the style to a uh, hidden line not cut. So basically it would be that. But I'll leave it at scene six. And what I'm going to do now is save this out. So file and save. And what I'm then going to do is file and send to layout. This one here. And then this view will open up in SketchUp Pro Layout. Okay. Now what I'm also going to do is not have uh, this template. So I'll go for New, and I'll go for Paper, Plain Paper, and I'll just go for an A3 landscape for the moment. I'll just open that up. So here we are in Layout. Um, I've got my view. So this is linked to SketchUp. If I went to File and Document Setup, where we get lots of the information for our document, there's Document Setup and there's Edit Preferences. These are the two boxes that give you sort of control of lots and lots of different things. Um, but the main sort of stuff for the Document Setup is in this one. So Auto Text, I'll explain what that is in a bit. Um, the Grid, uh, this is whether you want to show a grid or not. Now the grid obviously doesn't come through the display of the view. Um, you can also snap to grid, so I've got that little setting there. And this is, um, sorry, snap to object and snap to grid. This is the paper. Choose the paper size that you want. Um, by default, your templates, uh, they give you up to A3 to start off with, but you can create a page uh, which would be a zero or a one. Uh, the linked file, this is the one I was sort of getting to eventually, um, the wardrobe training file. Now, that one can be updated. If I sort of changed it in SketchUp and saved it, then this link then could be updated, and this view would then reflect the updated change. Uh, if I wanted to relink something, or I would 
purge the stuff out of the drawing that I'd unlinked, um, which I could do by clicking on this button or edit, then uh, I could do all these sorts of things within this. Uh, the other one is units, uh, millimeters, decimal, and the precision 0.1 of a millimeter. So what we get with our options, um, this thing here, if I go to my SketchUp tab, now the SketchUp tab is the one that contains all the information relating to the views. So I've got the view options, uh, scenes, these are the scenes in SketchUp. So if I went to scene one, I would see this. And similarly, if I went to scene five, I would see that. Okay, so it's a great way to uh, show the various bits and pieces in your model. Always worthwhile setting up your SketchUp model uh, beforehand, it's much, much easier to get the best out of layout if you've done most of the work in SketchUp. Um, so if I wanted to change the style of this, the styles come in as well. So I've got um, the color by layer. So if I wanted to click on this and choose color by layer, then it's going to change to the color by layer style. The cut style, which is one with the colors, um, I could go hidden line not cut, and that's going to turn it into a sort of white drawing or hidden line cut or architectural design style, which is again the one that shows me the section cuts. So whilst I link with those, um, and what I want to show you is a view. If I choose um, scene five again, no, I don't want scene four probably, which is a long view. Okay, so this here um, has got the section cut but the style says that we can't see the section cut okay because the style associated to this one is this one architectural design style if I chose um, a new style this one cut then we would see sort of the cut view okay but without the section plane so I'll just go back to architectural design style now if I was to click on this view to activate it and I went to this styles tab this gives us all the default styles okay so if i saw oh i fancy some sort of sketchy edge so and i wanted a thin or super fine marker then because all of the default styles show the section plane and the section cuts then you're going to get this sort of thing happening so regardless i mean if you wanted it just to change to what your view previously was so i'll just go Control Z to go back to this one. If you wanted to see that, but with ske sketchy uh, marker, super fine sketchy edges, then you'd have to load up marker, super fine sketchy edges, and either modify it or refine it in the SketchUp model. There's no way of editing the uh, visibility of the section cuts, or not that I'm aware of, anyway, within this option. Okay, so that's really the major thing you have to be aware of. Now. If I wanted then to sort of have a collection of different views on my sheet, then I could sort of change the scale of this. Okay, I'll move that down so I've got sort of a smaller view. As this is perspective, it doesn't really matter. I'll just sort of move this. Always seem to pick up the sort of rotation thing. Okay, I've got plenty of space to play with, but I always seem to sort of get that thing. So that it changes to a hand, and then that's going to move the position of that pivot point. I guess that's another little thing you can be aware of. So I've just picked this up and you have to see that sort of four crosses thing. It tends not to be visible until you get either close to the edge or close to the, the drawing. But even though I did click and drag, it did pick it up. So just be wary of that. Now, if I want to see the extents of this, if I keep pulling this out, and that's got it, pull this down, it's stretching it. Notice the way it's stretching it as I'm Sort of trying to get the box bigger all i want to do is sort of just uncut that bit what i need to do is in my view bit preserve scale on resize so i tick that then i can drag this down and i can see the whole thing okay so that's kind of one thing now if i want to make another copy of this then i can reinsert it or i can just click and drag press my finger on the control key and let go click and drag press my finger on the control key, um, hold it on the control key as well, by the way. So you've got a finger pressed on the left mouse button, finger pressed on the control key, and then lift your finger off the mouse button first. And then with these two extra views, I can then go to my 
scenes and I can say okay well I've seen two in that one side section I can also change the scale providing it's set to ortho if that's not set to ortho then I get sort of a perspective view of it and the scale option disappears but if it's just updating at the moment but if I change it back to ortho then I get the scale option and I can set this to maybe 1 to 20 might be a little bit too big. When you set a scale, you, this thing ticks automatically as well. The preserve scale on resize option ticks automatically, so I can just stretch this out. I should be able to get sort of a 1 to 20 view on this thing. Just drag it down a little bit more, like so. So if I wanted a 1 to 20 sort of section, I probably wouldn't need all this stuff at the back, so I can just stretch that in. And I might be better off just pulling in this thing from the front as well just so I kind of see sort of section cuts. Now I can draw over this model as well. So I'll just do a front elevation of this as well. So that would be my scene uh, 3 I think. And again I can set the scale. So again 1 to 20 and then just drag this out and up down. So I can just reposition this and I can sort of pick this up from there and sort of snap it to there possibly. It doesn't always work. But I can nudge as well. I don't know whether I can control nudge to get finer tuned. I know if I shift nudge I get sort of bumper nudging. Sometimes control nudge will do it as well, but uh, let's just chop this bit off at that point. And similarly chop this off at that point there. So this is our front elevation. And if I wanted then to have a detail maybe somewhere, I can just drag that over there. And show scene 5. And let's bring that up like so. Now it doesn't mean that you can't really adjust the view in SketchUp because it's linked. If I double click inside the box, then I get my SketchUp model. I can't edit it within this, but I can change the view. So it's really, really useful. So I'll just have a better view of that hook. I'll just click that. Now because I've double clicked inside it, this preserve scale on resize is unticked. So I can just drag that down and drag this across. There you go. Okay, so I've got some bits and pieces in this, and I'll click on this and just step that down a bit. Um, and again, arranging this, I probably wouldn't leave it like this, but uh, this is just a demo to show you the sorts of things that you can do. So in the next um, video, I'll just cover creating a simple template, so with a border and title block, etc. And then we'll add some text and some dimensions and we'll look at uh, different ways in which we can affect the way that this thing looks. Because at the moment, if I zoom right in on this, it kind of looks a bit ropey, okay? And I'll show you how to sort of change this and what's affecting the way that this actually looks. Okay, because at the moment you might think, that's great, but when you zoom in close, you might not be convinced by it all, okay? But there are very simple fixes to make this look much, much better.